What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. Uh, a couple things <laughs> I had to correct from the last video. So uh, here's the actual date. It's September 10th at midnight is when the uh, beta testers should be getting version 10. Of course, that could change at any time. Uh, but yeah, I got that. I don't know what happened. Anyway, uh, that's the real date. Uh, second of all, I had some new patrons and thank you so much to those guys. Uh, here you are going into the frunk. I don't know. I was having some weird editing issues with this new, this new HDMI display thing I'm doing. So, um, yeah, okay. It's good. It, you know, red light. Um, so yeah, there's that. And also thank you so much to Frenchie, uh, for giving me the heads up. He is another beta tester that posts videos on YouTube. Uh, check out his channel. He kind of gave me the heads up on this display. I will be making a video all about it to answer your questions, but basically there's an HDMI port, um, coming out of the back of the screen that I can now direct record with, which is, which is great. So today we're heading, we're in Rochester. Um, we're going to go into downtown Rochester and try out beta down there. I used to live around here, so I'm, I'm decently familiar with the area, but they've changed a lot. Um, and I've never done beta around here at all. So hopefully it will do okay. I'm still like really liking version 9.2, even though Elon, you know, had tweeted that it wasn't that great in his opinion. And now he's saying all these things that version 10 is going to be a revolution and you know, it's the future. And I'm very excited for version 10 a while ago, like months and months ago, when we got to version five, he had tweeted like, Oh, version five is so good. And I was so hyped and I was like, Oh my gosh. And then I personally did not notice much of a difference <laughs> with that update. And I was like, Oh, well, what the heck? So the following updates, I like didn't get as hyped and I kind of, you know, tempered my expectations. Now I will say version nine that we're on now is way better than, than the older versions. And the jump from eight to nine was, was pretty big in my opinion. And even like 9.2 over 9.1, I'm enjoying a lot more. Uh, I, I do think version 10 is going to be really good. You know, hopefully it does come out on time, uh, you know, in, in a week from now or so. And uh, hopefully it's, you know, another big jump. And then Elon is, is guessing that the request button, which we should talk about, is going to go to the public a few weeks after the beta testers get version 10. And, you know, it used to be like, oh, yeah, you press the button and then you agree to some stuff and get the beta. But now it sounds like <laughs> almost like in the software, the advanced. So if we go to the software um, and say, you know, you have this standard and advanced thing, it almost sounds like that where you can just be like, yes, I would like it. And then hopefully it'll come to your car. I don't know. I'm kind of guessing, kind of going off of what some other people were saying, but we'll see. So um, if you're enjoying these videos, please hit like, get subscribed. I would really appreciate that. Let's get into downtown for some, you know, really exciting stuff. All right, so taking this right here should be pretty simple. Green light. Uh, downtown Rochester is pretty nice. It should have, as you can see there, a good amount of traffic, at least on Main Street. So we do need to turn left here. It seems this guy was confused. He got into the left turn lane a little too early, <laughs> kind of like how Beta did in the last video. And then Beta left the left turn lane and got back in and you know kind of fixed itself. Um, but yeah, no big deal. Beta handled that fine and this will be unprotected left. All right, so moving up and just sailing right through there, knowing that there were no vehicles in the way. Very nice, you know, whenever there's nothing and the car does so well like that, I love it. And at the same time, I'm like, hmm, what would it have done if there were cars there? Would it have, you know, tried to sail through like that and kind of been awkward, but it handled it well either way. Uh, waiting for that person to get out of our way and we're about to get to our pin here. Oh, it looks like it'll actually take us into the parking lot. Let's see if it can do that. So pretty nice, kind of a weird turn there, but handled it okay. And then, let's see, we got the left turn here. Did not get in the left turn lane. Nope, totally messed that up. Uh, so this is our pin. Hmm, what are you gonna do? You still have the left turn signal on. Oh, it's just gonna keep driving. I wonder, let's see if it'll correct itself. No, it's just gonna freak out. <laughs> so it, you know, kind of got us to our destination. It missed uh, the left turn there. Uh, but no, no big deal. Okay, so it did reroute. Let's uh, let's do it again. Let's just do this loop and see what it does. Got a person in the road here. Car is slowing down already for them, which is very nice. I like to see, you know, when you're interacting with a pedestrian, I like to see those moves really early, well before you're anywhere near them. 
and she's crossing the street this way and the car handles that perfectly fine. It says stopping for traffic control, but it means a stop sign, I, I assume, at the end of this road. So there we go. We wait for them to be almost done crossing. Very good. So creeping forward here, there is some shrubbery and stuff to our left, but there are no cars. And a little slow through the turn, but really not bad. I, I try to think of this in terms of, like, if this was actually level five, would I care? And in that instance, no, not at all. Now, when I'm driving and not recording a video, when it does those little stutters and stuff, I do usually hit the accelerator to be like, okay, let's go. You know, I want to get somewhere. Um, and that's comment, a comment I've been getting a lot lately. People saying, oh, you shouldn't just let it, you know, be slow through these things. The point of making this, these videos and showing you is, uh, making sure it's waiting for those cars, that's good, um, is, okay, you're going to get in the left turn lane? What are you doing here? It has the left turn signal on. It obviously cannot turn left. So I'm just going to take over because that's that's really goofy. Um, the, the point of, of making these videos, let's, let's try it one more time, is to show you what the car is currently capable of. So, you know, you're seeing like less than 1% of my miles. When I'm driving and I'm making a video, of course, I'm always interviewing, uh, you know, reporting stuff, all that. When I'm making the video, I want to see what the car can do um, and show you and kind of share that and, and see where it has weaknesses and, and needs improvements. So creeping out here. Uh, pretty much, yeah, pretty much the same behavior as last time. Oh, and then braking when it doesn't need to. So I have to tap the accelerator there because somebody's behind us. Um, so that was weird. The exact same intersection, it didn't handle as well the second time. Okay, now that there are no vehicles in this left turn lane, I assume, yeah, it handles it much better. Uh, so pretty weird. It, I don't know, I felt like it should have been able to handle that, but it did not do it correctly. And then stop sign and pretty decently sized road here. We have to turn left. Turn that for you. So I would be pulling out a lot farther than this. I mean, you can see in both directions, but the car is going to really need to, you know, step on it to get past these cars whenever there's a gap. Okay, so pulling out just a little bit. There is a car to the right. And, okay, there. See, this is about where I would have stopped uh, originally. So now we're good. And there's a car to the left, but there's plenty of time. And there we go. So it moves through. So still sometimes a little timid. Um, unfortunately, because a lot of those left turns in the last video were so good, <laughs> I was pretty blown away. Uh, so let's see if now we can get into this parking lot. So right turn, yeah, it, it's showing, the tentacle is showing us the car's intentions. Very good. So this is what it was supposed to do the first time. Took three tries, but you know, we're here. Um, all right, let's put in another destination. Okay, so the route is showing leaving the parking lot. We'll see. Beta's really hit or miss on leaving parking lots. I still, there we go, I can turn it on now. And we'll see if it can get us out of here. So it looks clear in both directions. Still clear. Still clear. Let's go. And I'm going to tap the accelerator because I'm just sitting there and there's finally a car coming from the left. And so it did take us out of there, but yeah. Hmm. Very strange to have such a difference in confidence, uh, you know, just a couple of days apart. So we're accelerating nicely. We kind of have to get ahead of this car if we want to move over. You can see the lane is ending and there is room, but now this person's speeding up. They don't want to let us in. So what's the car going to do? It's going to slow down and move over. Oh, kind of hit the brakes a little hard there. <laughs> Did the accelerator. Um, but yeah, so that person sped up. Uh, didn't want to let us in, that's for sure. Um, if I was them, I would have, but that's okay. And then we're moving back over because uh, we need to make a right turn. So yeah, a little hard on the brakes moving over, but beyond that, handled okay. Okay, I really want to get back into downtown, so I'm gonna reroute here, turn autopilot off until the route is found, and then I'll turn it back on. So it does have a route, but it's behind us. All right, I turned right there so that we could get a new route and let the car take back over. Very nice left turn. Don't disappoint me. There you go. So it was wide open. It seemed the car easily could see that it was wide open. Those are the kinds of turns we need. When it's wide open like that, it needs to go, but it's just hard. If the car can't tell, obviously it's not just going to go. And, you know, from my perception, it's hard because I can tell and it can be a little frustrating when the car is being hesitant when it doesn't need to be. This is a weird... Oh, okay. So it's like a split lane, a split road. So we have a car to our left. Let's see. Yep. But the car uh, sees it, has the left turn signal on. We need to go way past all this grass. Okay, they did not have a right turn signal on, so I didn't know they were turning right. 
And now we can go. It says we're creeping. Hmm. Nothing to see. See this intersection now, nobody's here. So I have to hit the accelerator because somebody's behind me. <laughs> and then this is a yield sign, so we're good to go right through it. And then pretty nice left turn there. Um, I probably would have stayed to the left because we're going to turn left, but it's all right. And I probably have to take over here. Yep, so I'm going to move us over here because, again, if nobody was behind us, it'd be fine. So I should be able to turn this on. Yep, we'll wait for the pedestrian, no problem. And there. So this is where we would want to be, obviously, for a left turn. So there's uh, like a bunch of plants and trees and stuff to our left and right. So I definitely can't see it to the left at all. Um, to the right I can see fine. And now I can see. And the car should be able to see also. And we're waiting. So we're moving out. There is traffic to our right. And it's going to stop right in the intersection right here, which is no good. So I'm going to take over and put us in the left turn lane. Now this is something... Um, I don't know, I, I feel it technically is illegal, but people do it all the time anyway. Um, and I don't know if Beta will ever do this, so I'm gonna turn this on. Nope, don't go yet. Okay, so there were vehicles there. It, it's hard to tell if it was gonna wait for them or not. Um, so yeah, those kind of left turns across these multiple intersections are gonna be real tough. That was, what the heck was that? <laughs> oh man, well, at least you got to see it on the map because obviously I was not looking at that. And that's why you keep your hands on the wheel all the time. Okay, so we're stopping for that yellow light. That was weird. It's like the car wasn't gonna enter the intersection while they were hitting their brake, which would be a good move, but I, I can't imagine the car did that intentionally. We have a right turn here, and then you have like this right turn, which is like really nice and competent. Now I know it's not a left turn, so it's a little simpler, but man, it's just this this drive today has been so variable, uh, with some really good turns and then some really bad turns. So that person in front of us, oh, okay, we're hitting our pin, unfortunately. So I have to just cancel that. Let's see if the car will now wants to stop at the pin. So let me put something else in. We arrived at the stop sign second, so we're yielding to them. Then we're going to go up this. This is a really steep hill, actually. I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. We're just going straight, but no lines, no lane lines. We're staying to the right pretty good. Yeah, so not a problem at all. That's good. We should be moving away from that really expensive car. <laughs> I would have moved a lot farther than that, but okay. It was uh, ended up fine. Okay, we'll see if we'll go around this car. We should. Nope, so I'm gonna go. Uh, so, I don't know. Yeah, it should probably be able to do that. But uh, it did not. I, I would have given it more time, but again, somebody's behind us. <laughs> I'm not, I'm de definitely not gonna be clogging up traffic just to, uh, you know, play around here. And then that one says road closed. So I think I'm gonna reroute us here. Yeah, this is not as good of a drive. Let me uh, put in my my house. All right, so let's see if it can get us out of downtown and into the highway. But I will say overall that drive was not as good as yes as uh, not yesterday. But the last drive, like even that little stutter in the intersection was weird. Um, okay, road closed ahead, not this road, but we're turning right. It's just so weird because I've before this you know little video here, I've had a really good experience with 9.2. Um, and then this was just pretty disappointing. So, all right, uh, <laughs> even that's a little weird, that turning. Um, yeah, I don't know, we'll just have to wait for version 10, I suppose, but it's hard because I'm trying not, get, not to get too hyped, but I am, I'm actually really excited for version 10. Um, uh, I do also need feedback on uh, the camera setup. So there's different things, see, that was really good, like really nice, uh, unpro unprotected left, it's unprotected, right? Because it wasn't a green arrow. Um, I was watching that guy. He does want to cross the street, but he's waiting. So, yeah, I don't know. It's like you have these really good turns. It, it, overall, it's much better than it used to be, but yeah, I don't know. Um, give me feedback on the cameras because I'm, I'm trying different things. I'm thinking of, 
uh, like, do you, do you want to see the steering wheel? Uh, cause I was thinking of moving this camera back, but then, um, you would have less of the road. I, I don't know. It wouldn't be as good. I was thinking of doing a roof camera with the screen that might be cool, but then you cannot see the steering wheel at all. I don't know. I need your feedback. I know not everybody will be happy. Okay. We're changing lanes. That's fine. Um, with whatever I pick, but I'm just thinking of ideas and then I'll go with whatever I think, you know, gives the most information basically. So, um, yeah, let's, let's get to the highway and, and we'll call it there. I'm actually realizing this is going to be a really boring straight line to the highway. So, um, I think this will be the end. Hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to talking to you down in the comments and you will see me and my model Y in the next video.